would you mention the kind of challenges East African countries are facing when dealing with transnational and international crimes? Um, I think first of all we should appreciate the fact that each nation has its own laws and regulations and practices. It has its own institutions with the mandates to work only within their own countries. So the problem is how these countries can network, coordinate, and be able to work effectively as East Africans. I, I think the other challenge is, is the level of training uh, which the officers have, uh, the officers have, um, we, 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 which they have received. The other one is, uh, is funding. Funding is a big problem because the budgets are never sufficient. The fourth one is, a, is a coordination between the prosecution and the investigation agencies. Um, they may talk to each other when the cases are maybe halfway, in, when they are already being investigated. But the important thing is to start right from the beginning so that uh, each institution, either, either prosecution or investigation, is on the board at the same time so that they can coordinate the investigations. Finally, is, is the, what is the level of sophistication of the criminals? They are highly sophisticated, they are heavily financed, and they are using IT effectively. We need to counter them by being one step ahead of them. Yeah. Yes. Um, another thing, for example, when you look at the transnational nature of uh, these crimes, I mean, it's a crime that is touching more than uh, one, one country. country. So yes. pro problems could be a crime that is uh, committed in Kenya, but perpetrators are moving to another country. Um, I mean, how does that come in? For example, the importance of these different agencies in different countries uh, working together. How has it been? Has it been easy for Uganda, for example, to investigate a crime that is cross-cutting, for example, across Uganda? No, um, it doesn't because you need permission from the other country, first of all. Um, when you go to court, you, you, you need the um, you need the legal machinery of the other country to use. Um, the coordination has been difficult because each country has its own jurisdictional uh, uh, powers. And the, and I think finally, um, the officers themselves have not been coordinating very well. Well, we can never have universal jurisdiction because the, the countries are different and have done different laws. But what they need is, is coordination and cooperation during investigations and prosecutions. So that it is easy for officers from one country to go to another one. It is easy for for, for, for officers from one country to get evidence and also go to court and get orders either to seize the whatever property is required or to, or to, or to, to, to obtain statements from witnesses and so on and so forth. So it is the collaboration which is important, the networking. What kind of networking do you envisage to address this particular problem that we are having? Well, for us, I might say that uh, in, in Uganda, we've had some good cooperation with, the, with the Tanzania and with the Kenya, but it could be improved upon with, uh, with a, a well, a proper working network. I mean, I, I think that the, the, the offenses now which are being committed um, are getting more sophisticated. So unless the countries heavily invest in, in, their, in, in their investigative and the prosecution agencies, we are not going to get on top of the, of the game.
the criminals will always be ahead of us.